Okay, can everybody hear me? I deleted a bunch of videos. Hopefully that'll get me through. I, I, I need to keep doing it. Here, FDX is back at the low. This is a, was a really nice call. It was a really nice gap. It, it, the only thing I was concerned about this morning where I said I didn't know how easy this would be would be the setup. So that, that was all. But we talked about this pretty much the last two days. Um, I said what I wanted it to do, and it didn't. So, I mean, I saw it last night. I was excited about that. I didn't know where it opened this morning, but it, it, I mean that is the benefit of knowing what to look for in a chart. When it when you when you have an uh, you have an area or an expectation that something's going to happen, and it plays out that way. Again, you don't do the trade until it does, but that's what you here it goes here. This is through the low here. Shower singer, are you still in it? Is anybody still in this? The option, anything, anything at all, the day trade. Anyways, when you have when you know what you want to see and it does it, it's so easy to trade it. When you don't know what to look for and you don't know what to see, then it, that's what makes it more difficult. Um, and and that's I don't get what I want every time. So you know what I'm saying. I mean, otherwise we we have fabulous trades every day. But I can't control these things, so I don't get what I want every time. I, I just don't. But I knew what I wanted in this, and we got it. And it was pretty much the same way with Disney and, I mean, a bunch of other stuff. Alta, too. I mean, I knew what I wanted, and we got it. So it was like, when you know what to look for, it makes it so much easier to take the risk. It's, there's no hesitation. No hesitation when I get what I want to see. But I don't get what I want to see every time. So that's a difference. Dubaz is back in it. Swinging for the fences today. Gyro got back in too. Whoop! Everybody's on board. And this is gonna swing around like a banshee. I just didn't know how this was gonna set up this morning, and that's why I was so cautious. But it was perfect. Here we go. FDX for the low. Wow, I'm so happy now. Zen Trader, are you still in this option or you got out of the whole thing in the FDX? Oh, I know. BYND. Let me give that a look see today here. BYND. Nope, nothing. So everybody has to watch it too today, especially if you're in some of these options. Two o'clock. Uh, I was gonna call that yesterday and I didn't. Mm. I'm gonna look up something here, Goldman. Um, you could be out, you could still be in it, you could do whatever you want. Everyone should have made money today though. Look at one more thing here. Today is the 18th. I think that this Goldman looks good, and I thought that yesterday. Um, any questions from anyone about anything? I think I don't have much to talk about. In fact, I have absolutely nothing to talk about. <laughs> I have nothing to say. Nothing to say at all. Nothing to say. Nothing to say and nothing to do but watch and wait for the plummet. So 150.29 was the last low, it looks like. Okay. 
Gosh, you guys are quiet. I could take a nap and come back. 150, 55. All right. I think today's a day to trade. What do you think? Should we or should we not? We should. Let's do everything that looks good. Got to make the donuts when the donuts want to be made. All right, here we are waiting. 150.22. I thought it was 29. No, 150.22. Jackie, are you still in this? I thought you got out. No one's going to buy this today. No one at all. So it's either going to continue to drop or we just get out wherever with the profit that we have, but no one's going to buy this today. So it's either going to keep falling or just get out where we are now. 10.09. We got a long time left in the day. Six hours left in the day. No one's going to buy this. So you're either short or you're out. Here we go. Jackie went back in too. The more the merrier. The more the merrier. You know what? I should, this here, I don't want to get too nuts. Let me look at another put in this because this is, this is just lower. So when I look for these longer term ones though, I'm going to call another option this FDX. The 150s if you're here. Let's just do the 150s too. Um, so the 150 FedExes as well and the The other ones you could have been out of or you could hold. But again, I really just felt like, I feel like this is gonna break 150, so. Okay, so time of the day here is 10.11. Crude is at 10.30. 15 more minutes for that. How's everybody doing? We do deserve it. We deserve it. I would like an easy one though. This ended up this ended up being easy, but the mental work I had to do this morning was like giving me a headache. But it actually gave me a headache. Like not not for the fact that it was going to fall, but just the way how we were going to take it and what strikes to do and then where to get the entry for the day trade. I was just like, I. Okay, FDX, FDX, FDX. Just scanning, looking for everything again. Okay, BA's falling, let me check that out. Apple's still rallying, I don't really care about this. BA's falling now though, let me check that out. And be right back and find out why that's falling. Any questions? I had something to lecture about and then I forgot what it was. <laughs> I know. BA. Oh, 
uh, Trump just named his national security advisor. Oh, I must have missed that. That was earlier. That was like 45 minutes ago. Something I see here. That was like a 9.30 though. All right, here we go. FDX, FDX, 150.22 was the low. Here we go. Man, everything drops today. I don't care if we don't do anything the rest of the week. <laughs> and sometimes that's what it is. If everything falls off a planet today, between now and four, <laughs> I don't care if we don't do anything the rest of the week. Fall off a planet, fall off a planet. All right, let's look at Adobe again. If you want to day trade Adobe, you can do it. Honestly, it's a little late here, but you can put the stop at 276.50, 276.50, basically two and a half bucks. It's got a long way to drop, though. Again, targets 270 and beyond. So if you want to day trade this, I'm going to stick with FDX for the day trades. The puts are on. Um, in fact, we have absolutely no longs on at all. And I couldn't find why VA flipped. I couldn't find why this flipped. If anyone has any information about this, let me know. Um, and here this goes. Any second. Well, I called another put in this. Do the put, Zen Trader. If you want to reshort that this is a day trade, if you want to reshort this here now, it's as long as you put the stop at the right place, you can put it over 152. 152. You can't take big size then, really, though. 152.30, I'd give it. 152.30. So $2, $2 you got to size it. So if you take 100 shares, you're risking 200 bucks. Target's 149, 148. Or you do the other put. So it's, it's totally, totally up to you. Um, but there is a reason that BA is flipping. Does anyone know? There has to be. I'm just trying to find it in here. And I cannot. Here goes, here goes FDX again. Oh, here, here we go. All right, I can't worry about BA, but someone, I'd like someone if they know why that's flipped. Here, FDX. Here, this is it. Pay attention now, if we're still in the day trade, we need to take profits on this. This is really nice. And again, you can hold the puts if you want. The day trade that we got to get out of once we see the flush, if, it, if in fact it does come in, the flush we've been waiting for under 150. This should just go straight down. Ew. Nice calls here today. I had something I was going to talk about and I forget what it was. Oh well, I'll think of it tomorrow. Here we go. FDX. what I was going to say. I know exactly what I was going to say. I just remembered it. Is everyone listening? Let this drop and I'll, I'm going to say what I'm going to say if everyone's listening. Um, I call a lot of good trades, but not every trade that I call works. Some trades lose. There's nothing that you can do. That's part of the game. But the one thing I was thinking this in my mind about myself and then relationship to like other people here, FDX under 150, 150. Come on. Um, here it goes. Wow, Shower Singer, are you still in the original trade? Um, the, when you have a lot of confidence in yourself, you, you're not bothered as much by the losses. Here, 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 FDX! Here it goes. Hold on, I'll finish what I'm saying later. Come on. It hit 70 something, didn't it? 80. When you have a lot of confidence in yourself, like when you are confident in yourself, you're not so much bothered by if a trade loses 
because you know it has nothing to do with you and you understand that some trades lose and you're very confident in yourself and you know that you'll take another trade and it'll be fabulous. And I think that's what, I think that's where a lot of people have problems with trading, whether you do it on the side or for something that, that you really rely on it for money. But either way, it's like when you, when you, I have a lot of confidence. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go under 80. I had to have a lot of confidence or there's no way in hell I would have held this down to this point today because this was a really good trade about a half an hour ago, but it's better now. Anyways, confidence is important. So you're not so much bothered by losses when they occur, which still isn't that often, but they do occur because you know that you know what you're doing and you know that you'll take an, another good trade tomorrow or whatever. Do you understand what I'm saying? I think people people that don't know what they're doing are more bothered by losses. Often, uh, they lose a lot too, people that don't know what they're doing. But also they're, they're worried about the next trade being a loss. So yeah, I don't think like that, but there's a reason. I have a high level of confidence. So you gotta get your confidence up. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. I don't know if we're going to hold this all the way down at a 149. This is a nice move here. Let's try to get it as close as we can to 149.50 ish. Um, but do you understand what I'm saying, people? Do you understand what I'm saying? It's the confidence. Crap, someone's texting me and I can't read it. 75. Oh, crap, should I take this here? I don't want this to bounce against me at all. Here, hand on the button, everybody, for this. I'm not sitting through another bounce in this. But do you know what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like the confidence helps you because you have the confidence in yourself. And if you don't, then you're pretty much screwed. <laughs> that's, that's the problem. Here, here. 79 was the previous air. We're waiting. Come on. Come on, you. Uh, Kathy's just sitting here saying out loud, wow, wow, nice work, Melissa. Well, you couldn't you couldn't afford to do the day trade, you're saying? But you could have done the option. Here, 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 FDX. Here, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. That was a nice trade. Fabulous job, everybody that held it. If you're still in the option, that's fine. I, 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 be, be, your hand has to be on the button for this day trade. If you got this where we got this this morning, right out of the gate, you got to book something here very, very soon. Getting into 1030. That was a nice exit though. Um, you could have done, you could have done, well, here, here, FDX. Here, again, everybody that's in these puts, good job. Um, the, you could do an option in this, or you could do a day trade, or you could do both. So you have different things you could do. But again, you're here to observe anyways, Kathy. But you could have done, I emailed you yesterday, you could have done something today. You, couldn't you have taken 100 shares in this, though, as, a, as an equity trade? So for those of you that are still in the option, let's watch for 149, 148.50, 148. A possible break of that if you feel like holding at least one if you did both of them into the area into 2 o'clock. Now, 2 o'clock, again, I don't know what happens here with this market, but I definitely have my own thoughts on this as we've been discussing. Shara Singer made $1,500. Great job. Congratulations. And here, it's at one, $149.50. Wow. Wow. I think at a certain point, you have to take the money. Let me just see who's texting me. Any questions, anyone from anything at all? Here, 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 here. Um... Forget what I was gonna say. <gasps> Lovely as an angel. Um, okay, does anyone have any questions? My my point is that um, my overall point 
I was always trying to make earlier is that if you have a lot of confidence, you can do this. And if you don't, you got to get it. Well, how do you get it? How do you get it? You got to learn what to do. And then during that learning process, you're, you're working on your confidence. It's not like you wake up out of bed one morning, all of a sudden you have all the confidence that I do. No, it's not, that's not realistic. So you have to gain the confidence. Making money helps your confidence. Learning what to do helps your confidence. Following someone that's very confident like me helps your confidence. Here we go, FTX, wow, wow. Here, let's check out the market quick. Do you understand what I'm saying, people? So all of these things, you know, you have to, like, it's very difficult to move from a position where you have no confidence or low confidence, low self-esteem about trading to a point of high confidence. Like, that's not realistic to happen overnight. It's a process. It's a process from learning, making money, following someone that knows what they're doing, uh, you know, making money. And again, the amount of money that you make, sometimes it's not even that important as long as you're green. It's the consistency, green, 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 green. Because then you know, like when you, get, when you have the confidence that if you lose in a trade one day, you're gonna make money the next day because you, it's not even about the market itself. It's about the fact that you have confidence in yourself. And that is extremely important. And I definitely think that's one of the reasons for my own success. Here, FTX, is anyone still in the day trade? I know some of you did it a second time. I got out. And the puts are on. We'll see where the puts go. Jackie got out. Just make sure you get a decent exit if you're still in that, in this day trade or the second one. Listen, we'll be watching to see what happens here with everything, everybody. Again, this afternoon. Does anyone have any questions? You're on your own here with the with the options exits. Everyone should be out of the equity trades, I think. We'll see what we get tomorrow. All right, very good. Have a fabulous, fabulous day. Same, same thing, same thing I said earlier, Two, 270. You're gonna have to wait for this to, to drop back down and flip around again. It bounced off the 200 period moving average. So same thing, you're waiting for it to drop down through 271, 270 down through the drop. So some of these things, and I called these out a long, I didn't have to call these out as long as I did, quite frankly. I did, I did it, and again, I was conservative, very, very conservative here today. So you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna have to watch all these trades that you are still in unless you get out of all of them this morning. You have to watch what happens at two o'clock here today with this market. And the reason you have to watch is because if the market ends up having a big move down and you're in these puts, that's the time that you wanna exit them. And you're gonna have to watch, and you might have to have the orders out, and you might have to be quick about getting the orders out. Now, I'm not saying a down move doesn't hold, but I'm saying in this type of market, you get the move with these trades go, shoop, you wanna, that's where you wanna exit the trades, okay? Like, this is where we are. And again, you're, you're, you're watching these things into this two o'clock period today. This was a lot more fun than the slow trades yesterday, Kathy, yes. Elaine, hopefully you did FDX too, did you do it? Okay, Elaine's still in the option, very good. All right, have a wonderful day, everybody. Have a great day, I will see you tomorrow morning and we'll see what we get. We'll just, we're just gonna see what we get tomorrow. I mean, I don't know, we may get something good, we may get nothing, I don't know, but cautious is the name of the game here this week, at least until busy season starts, okay? All right, have a good day.